When creating iOS and Android apps, Flutter is often recommended because working with it is productive and efficient. Flutter is a great candidate for mobile apps in many circumstances due to its many advantages. Its performance, logical architecture, and documentation are all highly regarded. But there are instances where Flutter may not really be the best fit. That is what we are going to discuss in this video. So, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and press that bell icon so you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. So, let's start. Okay, the first scenario when you should not be using Flutter is when your app size matters. Since Flutter is not native, it adds up some library on top of your application to work. If you need a small application where every byte matters, you probably need to develop on native platforms. The minimum size of a Flutter app is over 4 megabytes, which is significantly larger than native Java and Kotlin apps. Let's move to our next scenario when you should not be using Flutter, and that is, when you need hardware support. Flutter is not recommended for apps connected to a hardware device for example, Bluetooth. Some connectivity and performance issues are seen as it do not natively use Bluetooth of the device. And the third scenario is using Flutter for web. If you are going to use Flutter for web, it's a big no. It's not HTML. Yes, even Flutter for web is released and it's not going to rock the internet. There are many easy and efficient libraries available to develop a website. When it comes to website, page loading speed, SEO, performance, and everything matters, and Flutter struggles to achieve these with simple Dart to JavaScript engine. But it's too early to judge. Flutter may come up with wonderful, optimized performance. The next scenario where you shouldn't be using Flutter is when you need platform-specific look and feel. Material widgets and Cupertino widgets are two different kinds of building blocks of Android and iOS apps, respectively. While creating Flutter apps, you can use both the widgets, but when we use material widgets for the iOS build, the app lacks a native look and feel. To achieve the native look for both apps, we should either check the platform in code and render the specific widget which is the worst part of coding and app performance. The last scenario when you shouldn't be using Flutter is when your app is highly dependent on third-party libraries. Even though Flutter has a huge collection of library and plugin, it lacks many popular libraries and SDK. Many packages are being currently developed and migrated to Flutter. If you are going to develop an app that majorly depends on third-party plugins, check whether the latest version of that SDK is available for Flutter and also actively maintained or not. Finally, Flutter is not always awesome. It is a fact that it will not be able to fill everyone's cup. That's it for today. Let me know what do you think about using Flutter. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more amazing incoming content. I'll see you in the next video. Till that Allah Hafiz.